What's up guys, Jazz here with a new Destruction Warlock guide. It's going to be my 1007 guide. We're going to go through stats, we're going to go through rotation, through talents, PvP talents, what race to play. And uh, I'm going to respond to all the questions I'm getting on stream. So let's get into it. Alright, let's begin with stats. As Destruction Warlock, you want to have as much haste as possible. You want to be getting those casts off and you want to have quick globals. Uh, so haste and versatility should be your main priorities. Uh, everything is jammed with haste and versa. I do play Lariat, by the way, and I do play uh, the Crafted Ring, Titanic Insight. So yeah, this is it for my Human Warlock. Those are my stats. And let's move to talents. All right, let's begin with talents. Fell Domination, number one. Uh, you play this just in case your pet dies. You also play this uh, when you play Sacrifice. Just in case you find a second counter spell opportunity during the game. So you want to have that. Demonic Circle for your teleport. Uh, Demon Skin and Fill Armor for tankiness. Reduces damage taken by 3%. And the Absorb Shields. Uh, curses. Infinement to have access to your Curses. Uh, tongues and Exhaustion. Amplify Curse. And Teachings of the Saturn. Right now, Amplify is very, very strong. So make sure you use that against all those melees, those retributions, warriors, and so on. Uh, this also works against uh, everything, every ability that does not guarantee crit. So keep that in mind. Use Dune City. In the games where there is no weakness opportunity, you can always go with Amplify into Tongues, and so on. Demonic Embrace for Stamina. Uh, demonic Inspiration just to unlock Sweet Souls. Uh, it's 10% healing on your healthstone. 10% healing, sorry, uh, of your uh, uh, maximum HP. Uh, it's good, it's on demand, so I'm playing it. Uh, Mortal Coil. I do prefer Mortal Coil over Howl. Uh, in the majority of the games, unless maybe against some RMPs or some jungles, maybe you want to use Howl, but in general, I'm playing Coil. Demonic Fortitude increases you and your pet's maximum HP. Wrathful Minion, just to unlock the Demonic Gateway. Uh, what else do we have? Shadow Fury, definitely you want to have a Shadow Fury. As a Destro Lock, uh, Strength of the Will. I prefer the big wall, to be honest, over the uh, small CD wall. I prefer having the big wall with 15% uh, uh, redu uh, reduced damage taken. Uh, Dark Pact, definitely. Uh, Ecor of Devils and Frequent Donor. Uh, early on in the games, I think Frequent Donor is better uh, because your HP goes up. But, uh, but as like as you have longer games and as dampening goes up, I think Ecor can perform better. Uh, I'm playing both. Mainly, I was playing this one. Those days, I'm testing Frequent. And yeah, I'm still testing those. I'm still playing both. So it's really up to you and up to your playstyle which one you prefer. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to the next one. Immunity damage increased by 20%. You definitely want to play that. Uh, surgery technique, 10% damage increase on incinerate. Definitely pick that up. Soul link, 10% damage taken, reduced. Uh, what else do we have? Grimoire of, uh, Grimoire of Synergy. 10% uh, damage increase for you or your demon. You want that, and you want to have Inquisitor's Gaze right now. It's pumping this patch. So, yeah, uh, this is what you play. Soul Conduit to get your shards refunded. It's quite good. If your pet does not die, I'm going to explain this in a second. And Soul Burn to buff certain abilities, like uh, having Gateway Instant, very important. And the most important of this one, or the two most important things, like number one for me is being able to Soul Burn teleport because it gives me. Immunity to snares, roots, and so on. Uh, it's very, uh, very strong. Also, soul burn, hellstone. Make sure you always soul burn into hellstone whenever you're pressing hellstone. Increases the healing down of your hellstone by thirty percent and your maximum HP by twenty percent. So yeah, I'm playing soul conduit right now. If you find matches where your pet dies, you can always go like this, guys. Like demonic resilience. So it takes 50% uh, damage less, and you're more tanky, 4% uh, chance 
that you're gonna be created. Uh, what else can you change here? Uh, if you're playing, um, so yeah, uh, that's it about the pets being tanky. If if you find your pets dying, uh, even more, I don't know, you can put fill energy on, and uh, use that healing they get from it. They get a lot of healing from it actually. Quite good. Now you have one more point. You can put it on a resolute barrier, even though games in shuffle or games in general don't last long in this meta, so this might not be a good option right now. Maybe next patch we will see. Uh what else can you put here? Maybe you can put profit if you if you like it. I don't really play it. Uh in this patch I always go with sweet souls. Of course it's guaranteed it's ten percent extra of my maximum HP, so I always pick it. Uh, and I'm going with Soul Conduit, as I said. So, yeah, that's about it from these Warlock points. Uh, let's move to the Distraction points. Before moving to the Distraction points, I would like to talk a little bit about Horrifying and Nightmare. Uh, Nightmare, I'm not going to play that one. If I want to have a slow, I can have my Curse of Exertion for it. Uh, and Horrify, maybe... It could be useful in some situations where fear pathing is extremely weird and you don't want that. Uh, what I'm going to remove for it is probably teachings or probably tightness if I want to keep teachings. We're going to find out. We're going to test that one on stream. So yeah, let's move to the Destro points. All right. Distraction points. Chaos Bolt, number one. Guaranteed crit. It's our main ability. Uh, Confrigate. Insta damage reduces the cast time of your next incinerator or bolt by 30%. Backdraft for the charges. Uh, you want to have that. Confrigate reducing the cast time uh, of uh, incinerate bolt and soul fire by 30%. You want to move down here to roaring blaze. 25% damage increase on the fire spells. Like Confrig you have a ton of fire spells right now, by the way. Immunate, Confrigate. Uh, incinerate, insta incinerate, proking from backlash and so on. So you definitely want to pick that one. I'm not playing improved confrigate. I never did, to be honest. I always went with throwing blades, especially right now. This patch very important. Explosive potential uh, to reduce the city. By the way, uh, the recharge scales with haste. So the more uh, the procs you're getting, it's gonna reduce the city. Uh, take a look, like the haste procs you're getting. Let me see if I can get a proc here real quick. I got a proc, and the CD is 6.6 .6 seconds, and it goes lower and lower, like my flashpoint is going up, right? So keep that in mind as well, scales with haste. Uh, so you want to have a ton of haste, that's why you want to be having that, as I mentioned earlier on stats. Uh, what else do we have? Explosive potential. Rain of fire, I do play rain of fire to consume my shards, there's a lot of situations where you have five shards and people are running away and you have infernal app and you have a ton of emulates up you want to spend that sh those shards to get your ritual of ruin way earlier right so you're gonna have a quick bolt and they push in or something so definitely playing rain of fire playing the haste havoc and mayhem all right i'm playing havoc uh in a lot of games if there's no druids no mages no shamans no decurs in general you want to play Havoc. If there's the curses, you can play Mayhem. If there's a lot of pets, you can play Mayhem with Bane. For example, against Beam Hunter and Demolog, you can play uh, Mayhem with Bane. But keep in mind that it has an 18 second CD. Right now it got nerfed. So yeah, you can play that if you really want to. If you don't want to mess with it at all, because it could be random for you or something, uh, you can always go with Havoc and Bane. And just press it by yourself. It's on a 45 second CD, lasts for 13 seconds. So it's really up to you and up to your playstyle. I do play everything. I do play Havoc. I do play Mayhem without Bane. I do play Mayhem with Bane. And I do play Havoc with Bane. It depends on the situation and the comps and what I'm willing to do in those games. Maybe I want to PV them down. Maybe I want to uh, stop something so I go for a triple coil or something. And so on. Uh, Pandemonium, always. I don't know if we're going to see that one being played. Maybe if Bolt blasts more and more. Uh, who knows? All right, let's move on. Backlash increases your critical chance by 3%. Mm, you want to have that. And physical attacks against you, 
chance to make your incinerate instant huge right now because we do in uh, we do increase the damage of incinerate from surgery technique. We also have roaring blaze. We have those procs, so you definitely want to have that. Ashens remains for another ten percent. <laughs> Eradication for another ten percent. We're gonna talk about it in a sec. So that's huge. Definitely play it. Flash point to increase your haste. Keep that up uh, on a target or on all targets if that's possible. Uh, to gain that haste, uh, twelve percent is the maximum you can get uh, on a target that is above eighty percent HP. Uh, Shadowburn, Shadowburn, and Configuration of Chaos. Uh, definitely want to use those. You can uh, use them like for insta damage. You can use them as an execute because they do have a better crit chance when the target is below 20% HP. Uh, you can use them. Okay, the main reason you're using them right now is eradication because they do apply eradication. So definitely try to keep eradication as much as possible on your main target at least because uh, it increases the damage they take by 10 percent it is huge definitely use that for this and so on ruin to increase the damage by 20 percent of corporate shadow burn and so on action remains as we mentioned earlier uh chaos bolt shadow burn and incinerate 10 percent damage increase on targets that are affected by emulate infernal definitely want to pick that up uh, three minute city, lots of uh, shared region, and ritual of ruin. Uh, that's the main reason you want to play rain, field shards, get it back earlier. Playing mastery twillies. That's the build you're playing with pet, by the way. Uh, that gives you a quick bolt, fifty percent reduced time. It costs no shards. So yeah, I'm playing Master Twitters too. Burnt Washes increases the uh, incinerate damage by 30% uh, it procs through Shadowburn and through uh, through uh, Chaos Bolt and uh, Rain of Fire. So yeah, you want to have that up. Uh, you're asking me a lot, by the way, in the stream, why do I press <laughs> Rain of Fire first global? on uh when the match starts like you want to be having those stacks up you want to be having your ritual of runes coming back you want to be having the burnt washes for free because the shard region out of combat is a uh, way uh way faster okay so you're getting those three shards back in no time right before you get your gateway for example look at my shards up here they're going up if i press rain of fire what happens is one two three you're back like in three seconds or something, three, four seconds, and you have your shards for free, and that's how you get your impending ruin, your burnt washes up, and so on. Uh, so yeah, burnt washes, chaos bolt, rain of fire, shadow burn, get those buffs up. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, madness, oh yep, we love that one, madness, procs with uh, shadow burn right now and chaos bolt so it's like 25% more damage on shadow burn 25% more damage on chaos bolt and 20% reduced speed dimensional rift is our next talent uh, opens a portal for you you have three of them shadowy tier unstable tier chaos tier unstable is the best one when it comes to damage chaos could be a little bit more bursty shadowy is slower uh so yeah, you want to play that, use it uh, when people push in, use it on goes, on setups, and so on. Uh, Chaos Incarnate, uh, I'm not really playing Chaos Incarnate. I tried going full mastery. I did not like it. It's kind of slow in this meta. Uh, the game sent very fast. Maybe later on, uh, if the game lasts longer and if Chaos Bolt gets another buff, who knows? We might play Power Overwhelming with it. But as of right now, we just go for this build. There's nothing else I can do. Uh, okay, let me show you my sacrifice build real quick. Uh, let me see. You cannot change talents in combat. One sec. Uh, sacrifice, there we go. Uh, you're forced to play 
this one in order to pick sacrifice up if your pet dies or if you have to play it anyways against wizard cleaves and so on where your pet will guarantee die <laughs> can't die if they're good uh this is what i play this is what i do there's no reason to go for teachings you go for profane or you can go for i don't know what else it's really up to you i have no pet here so yeah i'm going for this one uh, maybe you can go banish if you think it's good or even abyss it's really really up to you i'm going for this um what else do we have we lose sadly lose mastery twillist which is huge. We're going with Scalding Flames. Uh, uh, sadly, I tested both. I tested both uh, ha having like Pop Soccer Third Squeal and, and Scalding Flames while having a pet. And right now, it's not worth it. It's definitely more worth to go for Ritual if you're playing pet, right? Uh, but yeah, this is the Sacrifice build. And let's see what we have next. All right, let's get into the PvP talents now. Uh, mainly I play Precognition, Felfisher, and Netherworld. But let's imagine uh, I'm facing a Shadow play where I don't need Precognition. Maybe there is only one kick. So with, with a Druid, for example, I would probably pick up Cremation, which is guaranteed damage. Or maybe Bane if I want to have big goes. And that's about it for that setup. In general, Felfisher, Precognition, and Netherworld. Fisher is like AoE MS effect, slow, lasts for 6 seconds, it's huge, we love it. Uh, another word for your reflection, if for example you're facing a melee cleave now, you want to have Precognition, Felfish, and you want to switch that for Cremation, Shadow Rift, or Long Gate, Gateway Mastery. It's really up to your playstyle, so that's about it. This is what I mainly play. A few words about races. Uh, right now in this meta, I think human is performing quite well. There is not a lot of Asarogs or Feral Druids left with all these rats running around. Now, if we see more nerfs toward the Retributions and Hunters and so on, we might see Asarogs and Feral Druids coming back. So I might have to play Dark Iron Dwarf. I do play both. I prefer human. But Dark Iron is not bad at all if you want to keep playing that. It just performs way better against poisons, uh, vendettas, and all that stuff, right? Death mark. And all the bleeds and so on. All right, a few words about rotation now. There is no actual rotation on Distraction Warlock. The general idea is keeping your emulates up for the shards, for the procs, for the flashpoints, the haste you're getting, um, and the Ashen Remains it gives to you. You want to have your Eradication up. Your Confrigate gives you uh, haste. Uh, on your bolt and your soul fire and your incinerate cast time reduced by 30 percent have your eradication up 10 percent damage increase then you have your madness which is shadow burn into shadow burn or chaos bolt into chaos bolt damage increased by 25 percent and haste reduced on bolt and so on now at the same time you're getting burnt washes and everything works towards your chaos bolts like your ritual of ruin and you can coordinate all that stuff look at the middle of my screen i'm getting a buff that's my two set that's my 10 percent increased damage um Crit damage on Chaos Bolt, sorry. And uh, that's my critical chance. And uh, at the same time, I'm tracking my Grimoire. Like you have, like everything you press works for your upcoming abilities, technically. If you emulate, you're getting this, you're getting this, you're getting so much good stuff. If you Confrigate, maybe your upcoming Confrigate is going to guarantee crit. Uh, maybe your, maybe the target is taking 25% more damage. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe you have eradication and that's another 10% from that. Maybe you're getting a buff. Grimoire, that's another 10%. So if you manage to coordinate all that stuff, if you have the time to do that, because some games you're not able to cast, you're just throwing instants and so on. If you're casting, uh, make sure to keep those things in mind and uh, it's going to look way, way better. At this point, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. If you guys have any further questions, make sure to follow me on Twitch. Make sure to ask in the chat. Or you can just comment below. And I will see you next time.